Hello, my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about Instagram post and story ideas. So if you missed the branding one, it goes hand in hand with this. You can watch it after this one, but it talks about your colors and your photos like to keep it consistent and coherent on Instagram. So after you get your photos and you're like, what do I put in the comment section here? And uh, let me tell you. So there are a lot of monthly challenges out there that have like a day, like every day of the month or something. And usually people just throw up a photo that has nothing to do with like a book. And then in your description, you write about your answer, like your favorite book or um, the fantasy in your novel or whatever that's there. Some of them actually work out where it's like, oh, show me your writing space. And you're like, ha, huh, I happen to have a photo of my desk. <laughs> like, sometimes it works out. So currently there's like story snippet Saturday. Um, there's author challenge, fantasy whip, um, WIP, however you want to say it. Uh, InstaRimo, PW Po prompts, like just go search hashtags on Instagram or through your friends. Like I see a lot of my people doing challenges. I just never participate because I forget and it's hard. I really wish the desktop allowed you to post or write your descriptions on Instagram because I hate, hate writing from my phone. Like it's really annoying to me. So other ideas are like selfies or get to know you posts, especially if you're just starting out or you're rebranding or like, hey, I just got like a hundred new followers and let me clue them into who I am. You can talk about your book or your work in progress, anything you're drafting or revising, uh, your routine on your like daily routine or your routine when you sit down to write, you know, do you listen to music, light a candle, whatever. Um, you can talk about your outlining methods and how that's working for you and how you figured that out. You can talk about your writing desk area that I just said. Um, maybe you have like a motivational wall or desk decor or um, you can talk about your must-haves while writing, whether that's coffee, snacks, pens, like whatever. You can post aesthetics or talk about aesthetics and um, mention how you got yours or how you pick them. I'm always very curious about that because I totally understand the search option, but I just never find anything else like what other people can find. I'm just like, oh, here's a flower. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. But <laughs> you can also talk about your characters in your book, um, your side characters, main characters, how you came up with them, their names, their personalities, their flaws, their fears, uh, anything like anything and make it relatable so that people will comment on yours. I'll get to that at the end if I remember actually. So you can give writing tips, you can give querying tips, pitch tips, self pub or traditional pub tips, your writing journey, lessons learned, your current reads, your reviews on those books if you want to go there. Um, you can do craft books and maybe review those books and maybe like talk about what you got from them or what you didn't like about them. You could talk about a memory or a story from your work in progress, like how those connect. You can talk about um, updates or progress, especially for 2020. At the beginning, you can talk about your goals, reading goals, writing goals, um, platform goals, community goals, like anything. Sky is the friggin' limit. I'm telling you all this and like literally I'll still probably post nothing, but hey, <laughs> we're here. Um, progress would be like, hey, I just got to 50K on my novel or hey, I'm revising and you know, this roadblock is in my way. You can take a look back like last year, like I just did a YouTube video about this and see how you've grown as a writer or on your platform or whatever, all the lessons learned and all that jazz. Um, you can do like motivational quotes if like you're feeling stuck and you needed the motivation, pop it in a post because surely someone else is going to need that too. And just talk about what you're going through. Bethany Altazada is really good about just like posting her life and she's even said like she normally doesn't schedule things. It's just like in the moment here's a photo and this is what I'm going through. And I like... I get that sometimes and I love that she does it because it's real good like just to connect with her and relate to her. So that's one way you can go. Um, and like I said, just said, <laughs> you could do goals or where you're at with those goals. Like did you meet them in the first quarter or not? How are you gonna get better at that? I know a lot of people like bullet journals. Like I guess you could like do that or block schedules or whatever you think might help people. Um, so with that, you can talk about how you plan your time 
yada yada you can add a little description like a snippet of your whip or oh my gosh i'm sorry you guys i say whip and i hope that y'all don't care <laughs> but your work in progress you can do a little snippet of that you can do um character arc or book merch and that can be from ones that aren't even from your books it's like ones that you came across or your favorites things that you collect you can just talk about collections like hey i collect candles i collect um, Christmas ornaments, I collect bookmarks, like whatever. And relate it back to books and characters and things and just keep it all relative to your niche. And you can even do like pictures, like post, like how I was saying in the branding one, if you wanna post a picture like of items, but then you toss in like your Funko Pop collection, that's still totally on brand because it still has your other items and it's still a flat lay or whatever you're going for. It just also includes your Funko Pops. You can also have your background be like a bookshelf. A lot of people do that as well. So really like just uh, tinker around until you find what works and um, do some of these post ideas. Another idea is like if you're doing book signings, if you um, have like questions to ask agents, how to find agents, like any of that, um, you can do, what is this? I think I went uh, off the post. These are supposed to be like commenting ideas, but I think they're also like posts you can make, like pictures you could take because my next idea is shapes with books. And so like I've seen people do like a heart, like a, all the books lined up in a heart for Valentine's Day and I've seen people do like snowflake ones like they make shapes with books I don't know <laughs> I don't know why I have that um this should be like on the branding I feel like but anyway with your books you could talk about your favorite books your favorite reads of 2019 what you hope to read in 2020 you can talk about your TBR that you'll never ever get to or how many books are on your TBR and can somebody relate is anyone on Goodreads books that have the same colors um books for the season like these are all, these are all branding kind of, I guess, mm, I guess you could add them to your branding though. So like if you have like it's February and you have a bunch of red spined books or red covered books, like pop those in there for Valentine's Day. There's just so much. So I'm going to close the topic of posts, but let me know if y'all have any questions down below and talk about some story ideas for you guys. So um, a lot of big ones that people like in stories is like live writing sprints, especially in the nano months, live discussions or Q and A's. A lot of people hop on for those just to like chat. I'm always like insanely too busy for that, but I try to pop on just to say hi to people. You could do a day in the life. Some people do the get ready with me. You can do like some really quick tips. I absolutely love Laura Ferrari. Like she does, she doesn't do quick ones. So she this is like a whole series and it's fantastic. So she'll say her answers to you, but then she'll also type out what she's saying so that if you can't listen, you can still read. And that's a really big tip for stories is to do the multi for that because not everyone can listen and they're just going to click through your story, which really sucks if you're saying something important and by, vice versa. If they can't read, they're just trying to listen to you. Like it's, it takes time, but it's worthwhile. Um, you can do quick lessons learned. Um, like say you're just getting through your revisions and you're like, oh, I wish, you know, I just learned this. You can throw that out there. You can talk about um, videos that are coming out, posts that are coming out. You can share other people's posts and stories and what you like about them. You can celebrate when people have book releases or birthdays or whatever. Um, you can give updates on there or give goals. Maybe you have a goal for that day, that month, that quarter. And um, like I just said, ask and answer questions. That's a really good one to get interaction with is doing polls or the questions or like the slide bar or yes and no and just all of that. People are, it's really easy for them to just hit a button to interact with you. You can um, shout out other authors and accounts for just being awesome and <laughs> being a great part of the writing community. Um, you can answer questions to a tag or challenge, like say you don't want to put it in a blog or on YouTube, you can do it on there. Maybe that's quicker for you. You can share facts about yourself. I have like a lot of random facts about myself that I want to share and maybe I'll just start randomly putting them on there. Um, uh, you can share your favorite things in the moment. Talk about the song that you're super into right now, the movie you just watched, like what your cat just did, like whatever. Just put it out there. You're basically just trying to get people to know you and um, relate to you and have a connection so that y'all can chat and 
just like be best friends instantly <laughs> um so you can also share what you're up to um a lot of people do like i'm going to get coffee i'm at a coffee shop like just post what you're up to and what you're doing you can like take a pic there's that whole like what are you doing tag thing and you could take a picture of what you're doing and tag people to also like let you know what they're doing and that goes like all over because everyone tags everybody you can also do like your current reads and reviews and like just so much more there's so much and again i wanted to point out the preview app because when you post all your or when you upload your pictures to there you can go in and make comments and you can just like batch comment all these and put comments on all of your pictures and then when it's time to post to instagram you just hit like okay let's go share it to instagram and everything follows there so unless you want to write like in the moment stuff you can have all this planned out already and it's really easy I say this, I'm still not doing it, but I'm saying it. <laughs> and yeah, so I hope that this branding, um, along with what post ideas and story ideas is really helpful for you guys. Let me know down below like what you like posting about or what you plan to post more about now. And just uh, chat with me about Instagram because I'm trying to be better at it too. And I would love to follow and be friends with you over there as well. Let me know if you're interested in a post consistently video or um how i do stuff even though obviously i just told you i suck at <laughs> scheduling and being consistent but i hope that these were helpful for you guys and good luck with instagram and making those beautiful photos and writing things that are going to engage people and speaking of that's what i meant to say earlier so um writing questions at the top the part that like they can only see until they say click read more um, that's where you want to put questions or something really intriguing so that people click to read more and give them a call to action, have them answer a question. A lot of people do like question of the day and they'll ask a question and that's a really, really good post idea too actually. And hopefully they'll get comments. Hopefully your pictures are pretty and we'll get likes and just like keep that traction going and then utilize stories to kind of tag people and have more fun in the community. And yeah, there's like more to say about Instagram, like all your, your profile like wording and all of that. But I just wanted to talk about branding and post uh, content ideas. So I hope that was really helpful for you guys and uh, good luck. I will see y'all in the next video.